We're entering a new and crucial phase in a fight against coronavirus because the number of cases has gone up four times in four weeks and it's once again spreading among the elderly and vulnerable. There are already more COVID patients in UK hospitals today than there were on the 23rd of March when the whole country went into lockdown and deaths, alas, are also rising once again. These figures are flashing at us like dashboard warnings in a passenger jet, and we must act now. So we're giving local authorities across England around a billion pounds so they can protect vital services as they fight the virus. Nightingale hospitals across the north of England are being prepared for service. And so we can squash this virus wherever it appears, we are today simplifying, standardising and in some places toughening local rules in England by introducing three levels of Covid alert. Medium, with uh, existing national measures such as the rule of six and the closure of hospitality at 10pm. High, with extra measures including a ban on indoor social mixing between households or support bubbles. And very high, for places where, without further action, the NHS will swiftly be under intolerable pressure. Areas within the very high alert category will be reviewed every four weeks and nowhere will be shut down indefinitely. And the exact restrictions at this level, very high, will be worked out with local leaders along with tailored packages of support. But at a minimum, at a minimum, they will sadly include a ban on all social mixing between households in private places, including gardens, and pubs and bars must close unless they can operate solely as a restaurant serving alcohol only as part of a main meal. We will also ask people not to travel into and out of very high alert level areas.